is obviously going to attract interest because he's doing so well and he's got that style about him, but uh, I don't think he'll go to uh, <coughs> to a team like Everton. Obviously, they uh, are a big club. He's doing, he's doing the Wolves lad really proud at the moment, you know what I mean? Uh, we're second from top. Who knows? We could win the league. We're top five to win the league this year, so and with his help, then we could probably do it. Well, we're doing good, apart from Saturday, QPR, look. We had a relapse, but apart from that, we're doing brilliant. We've got the team smack on how we want to play. We've got a good manager. We've got good behind-the-scenes team. And we've got a damn good team on the field. So we just want, need the lads to carry on now. We don't need this disruption with Everton. I mean, if he gets Wolves into the Premier League, he will have done a great job, and that'll do his standing as a coach a lot of good. So that's my opinion. I think uh, that with the players he's got, he's surrounded himself with a lot of players that he knows well. He wouldn't have that if he moved, he'd be starting all over again. And I think he's built a good foundation and hopefully a successful one. No loyalty and passion, but I think he's got something to do here and I think he's got a good relationship with Fawson's, the Fawson people. So I can't see that being broken. Would you be disappointed? I'd be devastated. Be devastated if he went because he's, he's the first one who's, who's brought some good football for the first decent football I've seen here since the 70s. Well, it seems to me a bit ridiculous that all these managers have contracts and they're actually meaningless, aren't they? Because they come and they go, or they get fired, or whatever. I mean, managers get fired more than I more often than I change my socks. So I mean, what the heck? It, it's become to me a bit ridiculous that somebody can't stick with a team, build a team, make a great team and go from there.